Rated M for Mature. Hi, I'm Tim Jones, head of creative at Rebellion. I'm Ryan Baker, and I'm lead designer at Rebellion. We are going to be taking you through the first gameplay reveal of Zombie Army 4. What we're looking at here is it's actually the very first level in the game. We're following on from the events in Zombie Army Trilogy, where Hitler and his zombie army was defeated. So the zombies we're seeing here are actually just empty husks, not very threatening. Our playable heroes are on uh, cleanup duty here, which uh, generally involves mashing zombies. Uh, and there's Carl Fairburn getting out of the truck. And we're about to embark upon a little bit of zombie killing. Uh, we're skipping past uh, part of the playable area of the, the whole level from the game here to jump straight into the action. So this is our first safe room, and Carl here is picking up a weapon upgrade kit. So these are the items he can use to upgrade any of the weapons he's carrying, and he'll go into any of the workbenches that are located in each of our safe rooms. So here you can see he's picked his G43, and he's attaching the electrified barrel. He's also going to upgrade it to the tier 2 version of that, which will mean when he shoots the zombie, it will stun and burst the head of the one he hits, and then it will send out a couple of arcs to nearby enemies as well to stun them on the floor. Which is pretty awesome. It is. That's one of the big uh, updates for Zombie Army 4, is uh, that we've got like uh, progression and upgrade paths for all the weapons, the characters, the perks and everything, which uh, Zombie Army Trilogy didn't have any of that, that layer of things. So yeah, there's loads for you to get stuck into and loads of depth to play with. So we're running around here, picking up some of the uh, the items. That's a that's an electric attachment for the rifle there. There were some grenades we picked up. You never know quite what you're going to get in those boxes there, so it always plays out slightly differently. So here we can see that something's gone wrong, and there's a train speeding towards where our heroes are. And we've got the zombies coming back, and they've got glowing eyes again, which means they've got purpose, and they're deadly. Yeah, they're not just husks anymore, they are Nazi zombies again. So luckily our heroes preparing themselves as if they knew this was going to happen. Yeah. Take out all these zombies. And that's one of our traps, so Carl's making use of that. Knocking them down, taking out a group of zombies in one go. We've got a whole bunch of new mechanics and new cool ways for you to take out the zombies in Zombie Army 4. You see, you're seeing quite a few things all happening at once here. There was a, a rifle assist, which you can achieve after getting a few kills with, with your rifle. We've got different ones for all the weapons. Uh, we've got different grenade types, electric grenades. We've got sentry grenades and then just your standard frag grenades grenades as well. Uh, all worked really well at holding the horde back or decimating big groups of them together. Um, Boris has just placed a couple of traps here which is uh, obviously one of the best ways to, uh, to deal with the ever oncoming horde. You know they're coming towards you so you might as well put something explosive between them and you. Stay down. And you can see Carl performing a takedown. If you've hit a 10 kill combo, you can then perform a takedown on any of our zombie grunts. Doing that will reward you as well with uh, a health boost. Boris is approaching one of the mounted machine guns here. This is a particularly satisfying way to mash zombies. You can actually upgrade your uh, your character skill perks to be able to rip those off of their uh, tripods so you can like, actually carry it around. And Carl here is using his weapon assist for his SMG, which uh, reduces his recoil, increases his accuracy, makes him more effective at taking out the enemies. We're seeing a little bit of uh, stomping going on here. Zombies tend to keep crawling towards you even when they've lost their legs. Stomping them is a good way to finish them off. Or even if they've already completely dead, you can mash them up just for satisfaction purposes and to release any pickups that they might be carrying. And here we have an explosive kill cam, which is triggered when you perform a particularly devastating kill, taking out a large group of zombies. And I think all we've got here is our signature slow motion bullet cam. There's Carl Fairburn picking off a particularly good shot. And that's a shrapnel kill cam wiping out a bunch of zombies. And that's the classic X-ray where we're ripping through the putrefied organs of the zombie. Here you can see Shola using the electric ammo attachment that she picked up earlier on. This will make um, all of her shots for a short time deal electrical damage, which will stun enemies, knocking them to the ground, and will give her time to get up close and stomp on them. Or indeed for one of your friends to uh, stomp on the enemies as well. 
It's very satisfying. There are a few things better than a uh, an electrified shotgun in my experience. And there we've got Boris doing the electric punch, one of our special melee attacks. Having cleared out the zombies in the area, the demon seal is released. Uh, but there's more trouble ahead. We can see in the distance there, there's a propeller trap, which, when triggered, well, you see what happens. Here's Carl using his Brain Buster weapon assist, which is for his pistols, where he can paint uh, a number of targets and then get headshots in each of them. That's one of my favourite moves. It's great. It's one of those things as well, another one that can be upgraded via perks, so he can improve the um, how many people he can target and the effectiveness of the, of the assist. A little bit more ranged shooting coming up here, but there's a different environmental trap. That's the, uh, what would you call that? That's our uh, electric floor trap. So luckily the resistance who have been fighting zombies for some time have set up traps all over the place. So they're very useful for taking out the hordes and slowing them down. It's times like this as you're getting overwhelmed by the horde that uh, one of the new perks comes in very useful. You can actually, when you're downed, uh, if you manage to kill another zombie with your pistol, then you get a second chance to get right up if there's none of your friends around to uh, revive you. Oh, a bit of a sliding tackle there. An electric sliding tackle. <laughs> Did Carl just get electrified by going through that trap? He did get electrified a bit, but he looked cool doing it, so it's fine. He did. He's a tough guy. Ah, the Suiciders. These are particularly menacing enemies. Uh, returning from Zombie Army Trilogy, they will run at you and explode. And um, they are pretty lethal. But there are some fun ways to weaponize them yourself. Here's Boris showing one of those, doing the electric punch, sending a Suicider flying back into the horde of zombies. Epic. So there are moments in the game where you can pick your shots on zombies in the distance and there are plenty of moments where everything really gets on top of you and the horde gets pretty overwhelming and you have to use every trick in the book, all the game mechanics, your grenades, your special moves, your sharp shooting, your kill moves, everything available to you to really like make the best of the situation. Um, it gets pretty wild at times, I think it's fair to say. Some grenade throwing. You're seeing zombies falling off the, uh, the scenery all around. They have no sense of personal safety or preservation. They'll just keep coming at you from everywhere. Carl performing a takedown with his machete. So the different takedowns will vary depending on the what you've got equipped. So we've got weapon specific ones, special melee specific ones. So you get a nice variety. If the suicide, that also you can see a flaming train crashing into the platform here. Here you can see our heavy flame of one of our new enemy characters, someone that's going to be tough for the players to deal with. So loads more stuff to show you coming up. Look out for Zombie Army 4 Dead War coming early 2020. And check out www.zombiearmy.com.